Hi and welcome to this lesson where we are discussing Newton's first law of motion. So what is Newton's first law of motion? Well, it states that an object in rest or at rest will stay in rest and an object in uniform motion, that's to say at uh, a constant velocity, will stay in uniform motion unless it is compelled to change by forces acting upon it. Okay, so I'm sure you didn't really follow that, so let me just give you a brief e explanation. When an object is moving, okay, here's an object moving in space or anywhere, okay, that object is moving at a constant velocity, so velocity is constant, and it will continue to move at that constant velocity forever and ever and ever in a straight line unless some force causes it to slow down, okay, or speed up, or change direction, okay, so, for example, if we are pushing a car on the road, so there's our car, okay, and we give it a, a slight shove, okay, we give it a slight shove, we know that it's going to move for a while, maybe, if we're that strong, going to move for a while but then it's simply going to come to rest at some point okay why is that okay shouldn't it stay in motion well this time no for one there is weight acting on the car another there's the normal force by the surface acting on the car another thing is friction that is opposing its motion okay that's acting on the car so there's a bunch of forces acting on it that's why it stopped if this car was in space where, the, where it has no weight, where it has no um, object touching it, except the person giving it a slight shove and after that letting it go, and there's no drag, uh, even though even in space there's a little bit drag, did you know that? Anyways, let's assume there's no drag, give it a slight shove and it will continue to move forever and ever at that constant velocity okay, that we gave it by pushing to, on it. The same goes for an object that's standing still. Okay, if we have an object, like a, um, let's say, a cupboard, here's my ugly cupboard again, okay, there it is, drawers, maybe, okay, there's a cupboard, okay, it's standing still, okay, there's no forces acting on it, in this case, maybe there is, maybe it's got weight, and it's got normal force, uh, of the surface it's standing on but these two cancel each other out so there's no resultant force acting on it and therefore there's absolutely no change in its position its direction anything it's just standing um, at, it's just staying at rest okay so it would be very interesting to go and see what happens in space when objects are floating around in space and for that uh, reason after this video I've added some videos so that you can see how astronauts are actually uh, operating in space. Have a look, it's quite interesting.